There's been an evolution of our approach to knee replacement surgery. The technique has been modified over the years. The instrumentation has been changed. The implants have been modified a bit. And the natural transition has been to shorten our incisions and allow a less invasive approach to total knee and partial knee replacement surgery. In a traditional approach to total knee replacement surgery, the skin incision can be as large as 8 to 12 inches. But the greatest amount of pain with a traditional approach to knee replacement surgery comes from the fact that we make a large incision into the quadriceps tendon and then we flip the kneecap out of the way so that we can approach the knee. With the minimally invasive techniques that we're using, the skin incision is only approximately three or four inches, but the biggest advantage comes from the fact that we no longer have to cut into the quadriceps tendon, so it's far less intrusive. Additionally, instead of flipping the kneecap over, which can be very painful and which contributes to the lengthy recovery, I only slide the kneecap over to the side and I make my cuts from the side. When you look at a knee joint, there are basically three compartments. There's the front compartment, which is called the patellofemoral compartment, the inner compartment, which is called the medial compartment, and the outer compartment, also referred to as the lateral compartment. And when you're dealing with patients with arthritis, each of these compartments can be involved, or one compartment can be involved independent of the others, and the other compartments may be perfectly normal. And when we do a total knee replacement, we replace all of the arthritic cartilage with the component parts. But when it comes to partial knee replacements, we can actually selectively replace only that arthritic compartment. Good. Now bend your knee. What I've been able to offer to my patients is a much less painful experience and a much quicker recovery through these minimally invasive techniques. I also feel strongly that not all patients require a total knee replacement surgery. And in fact, 20% of my patients who come seeking care of their arthritic knee conditions are actually candidates for partial knee replacements. Well, today the therapists are going to come in. Partial knee replacement surgery is a benefit to patients because it offers a more conservative approach than total knee replacement surgery, which has a finite lifespan. We know that total knee replacements will last about 10 to 15 years in 90% of patients. But if they fail, the revision of a, of a total knee replacement can be difficult. So a partial knee replacement offers a much more conservative approach than a total knee replacement. And particularly in our younger patients who may need several surgeries in the course of their lifetime, this offers a very attractive alternative. I believe very strongly in the virtues of minimally invasive knee replacement surgery and having seen how quickly and how effectively the patients recover from the minimally invasive approach to both total and partial knee replacements, it's something that I endorse wholeheartedly.